London today. A reason to get a job. But not just any job, one in the booming hospitality industry. This event is the first of its kind here, and it's been set up by the British Hospitality Association in partnership with Apprenticeships, Believe in Young People, Springboard, DWP and Barclays. They're aiming to create new job opportunities for young people. Already 34,000 have been given jobs at events like this up and down the country. It's been very interesting. I've met a few good people. Um, I've got quite a few cards for employers, from employers, so it seems to be going quite well. I like that there's so many opportunities available um, because it's not just about cooking or, um, you know, um, for the beverage, you know, there's more to that. It's like HR, there's like engineering, there's some um, front of house. Any one of these young people could leave here today with a new job, and there aren't many industries where you could do that. I employ people with you know, degrees from Oxford and MBAs right through to somebody who's never worked before. You know, in my own case, I started my summer holidays when I was 15, 16, working in a motorway service cafe. I then went into hospitality and worked my way up. I started in this business as a porter, carrying bags, and now I'm one of the owners of D&D and, um, and run um, uh, a business which has um, uh, 2,000 staff and restaurants all over the world. The hospitality industry is one of the best industries in the world. It helps to take young talent and nurture it and develop it into future leaders, stars, franchisees, chief executives, it takes people from dishes to riches, from kitchens to boardrooms. And celebrity chef Brian Turner knows that better than most. He started off working in his father's transport calf, eventually working his way up to earn a Michelin star. I often say if I'd have told my mother in those days, what was going to happen to me, she'd have said, don't be so silly, lad, go to bed. You've been daft now. That can never happen. You're a working class lad, come from a council house estate, just outside Leeds, and it's just not possible. But suddenly I came to London. And the great thing about this business is that horizons, once you reach the horizon, you get there and there's another one and another one. So you never stop. It's up to you when you stop in this business. Today's event is also an opportunity to have a conversation, a big hospitality conversation with major names in the industry. It offers a commitment to create jobs, apprenticeships and work placements for young people and the long term unemployed. Hospitality and tourism now account for 10% of the UK's workforce and growth in the industry is outpacing the rest of the economy, nowhere more so than in London. As the city grows, we absolutely need the hospitality industry to grow with it because it's the oil in the machine. Right? We're getting 18 million visitors a year, we think, this year. They all need to be fed, watered, housed overnight. If we don't do that, they're not going to come. And that means we'll miss out on 11, 12 billion quids worth of revenue. It's absolutely vital. One of those who's taking advantage of the opportunities is young chef April Partridge. She first stepped into a kitchen on work experience and has never looked back. She's now winning awards and working in some of London's most famous restaurants, all before the age of 25. It's an incredibly rewarding industry, you know, it's all about, you know, setting goals for yourself and working hard. And the fact is that, you know, our industry is based around making people happy. And I think that's a fantastic thing to do, to come into work and feel like, OK, today I just want to please people. It's a great industry to work in. Back at the jobs fair, these young people are hoping to take the first step on a career ladder, which will get them there too. And there's been some success. So you arrived today unemployed, yep. you're leaving with a job, tell me what happened? Uh, basically I went and spoke to the Chief Director of Premier Inn um, and I was talking to him about 10-15 minutes and then he said would I like to come in and meet the team on Monday. And do you know what you're going to be doing? Uh, administration. How excited are you? Uh, really excited because I mean I've been out of job for about two months now, you know, you get no motivation, you get nothing at all. Um, but coming here, obviously, you meet all of these employers and they give you a chance, you know, just getting the foot in the door. And that's what I needed. The BHA believes the industry can create 300,000 new jobs by 2020, meaning there should be plenty more success stories to come.